Using actions is the easiest way to extend Auth0. And today I wanna to show you a library of already created actions that require no coding skills on your part and can be added to your tenant within a couple minutes. Now, if you don't already have an account and not able to access a dashboard view like this, then click on the link below to sign up. Once you do go through that sign up process and land on your dashboard, we're gonna be looking at the marketplace tab down here. Before I click on that, I wanna show you inside of my actions tab here on the left, what I already have installed. So once you install some actions from the marketplace, they're gonna show up in this installed tab inside of the library here. You can see on the custom, I've in previous videos and in my work created some custom actions that do a variety of different things. But as far as pre-installed actions that have already been created, I don't have any installed right now. In order to find some of these, you'll want to navigate to the Marketplace tab that's on the left side here. Now inside the Marketplace, you'll find a lot of different stuff and a lot of different integrations that make it easy for you to extend Auth0 and to add a lot of different things like SSO integrations, rules, identity proofing, that kind of stuff. Today, I wanna to focus on the Actions tab, as you see here. When you click on Actions, you can see that we already have a couple dozen actions that have been created by Auth0 for you to use. Things like OneTrust, Scaled Access, TeleSign, and a whole bunch of other ones here. We are also constantly working on adding new, so over the next months and years, you will see this tab grow. But once you find one that you would like to add to extend your Auth0 account here, just click on it and it will take you to an installation view as you see for that specific action. Now on this view, there are two tabs, an overview and an installation. The overview is gonna tell us about the integration work that's being done with this action. For example, we're adding ID data web verification to the flow within our account. This first paragraph is gonna tell us all about ID data web and the process. The installation tab is for the most part the same across all the actions. It's a very simple process to add it to your account. It's gonna have an add integration button on most if not all of the actions that you click on. There are additional things per each one that might take a couple more pages or views for you to walk through. And we'll see that here with the ID data web one, but most of them are gonna be the same. Basically click on the add integration button that you'll see at the top of the page and then walk through the steps that the view will show you. There's also gonna be an additional customizations paragraph down at the bottom if you want to go even further than what this action does. So for ID data web verification, you can see here the first is add the integration, and then it's gonna ask us for some API token and keys. So I'm going to click add ID data web verification Notice that we've jumped now to the library tab of actions, which I showed you in the first view. And then here, it's gonna ask for our consent for some items here. So make sure you read through everything that you get on this view. I'm going to press continue. And then you're going to need to go to this third party's website to create an account and get these URLs and tokens and IDs. So I don't have an account right now with DataWeb that I can add. So I'm just gonna add some dummy text in here just to show you how this works. Now when I press create, you'll see that inside of my library of actions, which was previously empty, now has the ID data web verification. Now inside of my flows, I can go to login or whichever one is applicable to the action and I can add it from the installed section to my flow. Once you have that in here, don't forget to press apply. And that is it. The ID data web action is now going to run with every login that you have, which you can test out by going to the getting started page and clicking on the try it out button that you have here. This will run in a sandbox environment and you can test out your action. Now you can go back to marketplace and add additional actions. You can add some of the custom actions that you might already have and rearrange that flow to have them fire at specific points. And that's it for this video. If you'd like to learn more about creating your own custom Auth0 actions, we do have some articles and other videos that you can check out. There's a couple links above me now. There's also links in the description. 
So feel free to check out those if you're interested in creating your own custom action to add to your own flow.